Two activists who tampered with Enbridge pipeline valves Tuesday in solidarity with Dakota Access Pipeline opponents have been charged with felonies in Clearwater County. 50-year-old Emily Johnston of Seattle and 64-year-old Annette Klapstein of Bainbridge Island, Washington, were each charged Wednesday with two felony counts related to criminal damage to property of critical public facilities, utilities, and pipelines, and two gross misdemeanor charges of trespassing. Each felony count could carry a maximum sentence of 10 years and a $20,000 fine. Each gross misdemeanor charge carries a maximum of one year and a $3,000 fine. The women were part of a group called Climate Direct Action that tried to shut down five pipeline valves, two pipelines in Minnesota, one in North Dakota, one in Montana, and one in the state of Washington. This all happened Tuesday morning. All of the lines move oil from Canada to the United States. A video taken shows the woman had used bolt cutters to cut padlocks and chains to access the pipeline valves at the Clearbrook facility. Pipeline officials said their attempt did not disrupt oil delivery. An Enbridge spokesperson said pipelines at four of the sites were temporar temporarily shut down before the protesters could reach the valves. In a Tuesday statement to Lakeland News, an Enbridge spokesperson called the tampering reckless and dangerous and will support the prosecution of those involved. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.